go. A little bit of Fat Guy Radio Show. Today's show is brought to you in part by Target at FatGuyRadioShow.com slash Target. Have it delivered to your door or picked up at your favorite store. No matter which way you like it, always shop Target at FatGuyRadioShow.com slash Target. It's Fat Guy Radio Show. Well, well, it's another Fat Guy Radio Show for you this week, everybody, everywhere, and boys, I'm going to do my best not to start this show off badly because I'm in a bit of a mood. Oh, just another regular day. I'm in a bit of a mood, too. Oh, we can both be in the, in the mood. I feel great. I mean, I feel like I'm the only one that reads the company memos. Mm. Yeah. We're not, I'm not even going to spotlight that because it's ridiculous. Uh, Lady K <laughs> off of the Twitter chimes in. Hey, fellas. Do you, Hi, Lady K. You, you're really not going to? Hi, Lady K. You, don't, you didn't get the memo? Yeah, I got the memo. What's the memo? What was the memo? I read it. And what was it? Did, Did you read it? I've read it. Then Obviously, you know I what read I read. It. Then you Obviously, know what I, read I read it because I'm the only one who read it. And it's very obvious it's to our viewers. Well, how I was the only one who read it. It's very obvious to our viewers, and I don't even want to point. I don't even want to put a spotlight on it. Okay. Spotlight on what? I don't even know what's going on. I don't either. I didn't read the memo. Of course you didn't. I I, I just said I didn't. I know you didn't. I, I'm acknowledging I didn't read the memo. Exactly. We had a whole conversation about these days last week, and one comes up today, and I'm the only one who acknowledges it. Well, you know what they say. Mama said there'd be days like this. Okay. Mama said there'd be, there'd be days, days like, like this. this. There'd be days like this. What is that from? It's a rap song. Said, it's not a rap song. God, who that, had two? Who had two minutes in for DJ to make a DA to make a black reference? It is a it is a rap song. Tupac. It's not a rap song. Mama said there'd be days like. Mama said there'd be days like this, but I'm pissed because it stays like this. It's an old song. Oh, I never heard that one. I never heard that either. He just no. made. I think anything that he hears that has some type of rhyme to it, he Go- makes it into like a Tupac rap. Every, Tupac says everything. I remember, wasn't it Tupac that said to be or not to be because the cops have their knee on the back of me? Yeah. Right? I, yeah, I believe that. And also, I believe Tupac also said um, four score and seven years ago, mm-hmm. our forefathers. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, 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 I want to know. Well, I, I, what did my last forefather say? And, and then wasn't it the great, the late great Tupac who said, "We, the people, yes, in order to form a, I forgot the rest. Yeah, you don't know the preamble, but also, um, I believe it I've was, never heard that rap song. I believe it was also Tupac <laughs> that also quoted, um, "Our Father, who art in heaven." Mm. Hallowed be thy name. name. Let me see. Uh, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy, see, he knows all the oh, Tupac see, all lines. The Tupac lines. All, all of them. the Tupac, all of them. Tupac and lines. And it was a Tupac line. It's called, I don't give a F. Oh, yes. I Wasn't don't, it just tu- like Tupac songs. <laughs> Wasn't it Tupac who said that there's a famous saying in Tennessee. I mean, he knows it's in Texas, but it's probably in Tennessee that if you fool me once, shame on you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You fooled me twice. I, I can't get fooled again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also believe it was Tupac that, uh, uh, quote, said, Our country, mm-hmm. tis of thee, mm. sweet land of, of what? liberty. Ooh. I haven't heard that one. Of the thee, I, I see. see. Yeah, that I've heard too, that one. That was Tupac. And then I think I think the like most famous one Tupac said mm-hmm. was I'm, I'm familiar. He said he said, "Father Abraham, ah, uh, had uh, many, many sons. sons. Yeah, and mm. many yeah. sons had father, father Abraham. Abraham. Yeah, I'm familiar with that. That one. one's deep. I haven't heard that one either. But the other one, that, so much truth. The in one Boston. that really, really shines. Mm-hmm. I mean, this one. When I heard Tupac quote this one. It literally changed my life. Mm-hmm. And Tupac said, head, shoulders, Ooh. knees and toes. Uh. Knees and toes. Ooh. But then he didn't stop there. What did he say? He said, eyes, 
and ears mm -hmm. and mouth, mouth. Oh, and, and nose. nose. Ooh, I remember that one. Head. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Cause that's at the top. Yeah. Yep. Head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. I remember that one. Ooh, I'll Lord. shoot you in the now, head. Shoulders, knees and toes. It touches me to this day. Now, Tupac had this one that like resonated with me. Yeah. And it's 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 literally my spirit animal. Oh, animal. Like, your spirit animal. My spirit animal. Yeah. He said, "This is the song that never ends, oh, and, and it, it goes, goes on, on and on, on my, my friend. friend. Yeah. Some people yeah. started singing it. Oh man, not knowing <laughs> what it was. Yeah. Uh -huh. And they'll continue singing it." Mm-hmm. Forever, forever, just because, just because this is the song that never ends. See, yeah. he made so much art that yeah. we can have a whole podcast about all the songs I've never even heard. Yeah, and this off of the uh, Twitter. Uh huh. This one, I didn't. This one, this is scooping me. Mm -hmm. This famous Tupac line mm -hmm. completely scoops me from our lovely lady K. Tupac, the line, the song that Tupac performed that changed. Lady K's life okay. mm -hmm. had this verse in it. Baby shark, doot, 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 doot. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Oh, my gosh. I need to rap genius that, that one. Like, a, what did he mean behind the doot, doot? I mean, wow, Lady That K. must have been off that aquatic album he did. Yes. He yeah. had an aquatic. See? Yeah. He has so much out that you can't keep up with all of it. Tup Tupac, I mean, he just... Yeah. He's just the artist that just keeps on giving. So before yeah. we started talking about it, I, I kind of got like, I don't know, defensive when you didn't know that was a pop lyric. You no. just named all these pop lyrics that I didn't know were pop lyrics. Mm -hmm. I, I apologize. Yeah. I sit corrected. Yeah. I sit corrected. Yeah. He, he does sit corrected. Hey, I like your headband, um, DT. Tupac Thanks. was known for his amazing lyrics. Yes. That affected and changed the lives of many. Yes. So many. Yes. So many. And I believe that Still it was, what, 20 years ago last week mm -hmm. that Tupac allegedly died. Yeah, it was more than 20 years ago. Was it more than 20? Yeah. I thought it was 20 he, years ago. Today. He died in 90... Oh, well, yeah. He died in 96. Okay, so that's... So 23 than, years ago. So 23 yeah. years. Somebody, I saw something on on Twitter that said that they had, it was like the anniversary of Tupac's Yes, Fox's I love death. how you said allegedly. He's yeah. still alive. Yeah, he's still, so is Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Whitney yeah. gone. Yeah. They're, they're, they're. Well, you know what, Whitney, um, she's still alive. But what people don't realize is that it was Whitney mm -hmm. that actually started some beef with Tupac. Oh. Because it was Tupac that originally asked the question, mm -hmm. oh, I want to dance with somebody. Ooh. I want to feel the heat with somebody. Mm. Yes, I want to dance with somebody. With who? This is the part that gets me. Mm. Take your time. I'm sorry, I feel a little no, emotional. No, no. Take your time, Corey. Tupac said, with someone uh -huh. who loves me. Mm. Oh! Bad Guy Radio Show. She's very eager to get married, my girl, and she can't figure out why I'm not, and this is because marriage is much better for women. Like, from the beginning onward, it literally starts with a man getting on his knees, begging you. Please, spend the rest of your life with ugly, stupid me. But is that, a, is that enough? No. You also get an exquisite piece of jewelry that cost tens of thousands of dollars. You know how much she told me you're supposed to spend on an engagement ring? Three paychecks. Three paychecks, that's what she told me. Three on a finger? Yes. It's not even a good finger. <laughs> you know how useless this finger is? The Simpsons don't have them, none of us noticed. <laughs> I'm just saying there should be something for men, something to balance out the ring. I think men should get engagement cars. Just a simple, look how unhappy the women are at the idea. It's not even equal. A diamond is for every, a Camry is like six years. 
And I don't even like driving. I just want you to feel that pressure. That's all. <laughs> when you're like, babe, what kind of car do you want? And I'm like, I don't know. Depen depends on how much you love me. It must be true, cause I heard it on the radio. It must be true, it must be true. From the city of Glendale, a suburb of the Grand Canyon State's capital of Phoenix, it's Arizona's funniest hit internet radio show and podcast, Fat Guy Radio Show, featuring Corey Blaze with Daniel Taylor and Doug Andrew. And now, Arizona's only begotten son, here's Corey Blaze. <laughs> I gotta give a shout out to our good buddy, uh, Smedley, the White Knight. That was his son. Really? Little... I think he's seven or eight years old, six years old. I don't know. He's little. Mm -hmm. That was little Riley. Nice. That, he nailed it. That came in and did. So for the next couple of weeks, boys, we are going to be blessed with intros from the little fellas because all three of them drop some intros oh, for sweet. us. Oh, so, uh, uh, And the funny thing is, I don't even have like a blooper reel because they did so amazingly dang. well. That's amazing. I want to go ahead and give a shout out because for the first time since I've been on this show in the yeah. studio, someone shares the title credit with Corey. <laughs> that must have hurt him so bad to hear it. <laughs> no, well, let me get through the opening and I'll tell you why that credit, that opening credit has never been shared. All right, ladies and gentlemen, live from Arizona, USA, and broadcasting to 79 countries with over three quarters of a million downloads worldwide, heard by the best fat natics. Yeah! <laughs> Welcome to Arizona's Hot Talk Radio. This is Fat Guy Radio Show. I am your host, Corey Blaze, joined by Daniel D. Tay Taylor, Arr. Doug the D.A. Andrew, Holla. and DJ Little D, my little brother, will be joining us just Ahoy, buddy. Mormons momentarily. Fat Guy Radio Show is an interactive show. Comment on our YouTube live or tweet us your comments to at Fat Guy Radio Show on the Twitter. You're also welcome to get at us on in the DMs. Search Fat Guy Radio Show on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today's show, folks, is brought to you by Amazon featuring the new Echo Show 5. And it's a letter for this read. Ralph, who DM'd me on Twitter, says, Corey, I grabbed an Echo Show 5 through your website and did just what the commercial did. I set it up for my 77-year-old granddad in his nursing home. It freaked him out at first, but now he loves it and even makes it play the Valerie song because I showed him the Amazon commercial on the Echo Show after I set it up for him. He might be listening to because I showed him Fat Guy Radio. Give him a shout out. His name is Bernard Chester, but we call him Grandpa Barn. Get yours today, folks, through the show, through the special Echo Show banner on FatGuyRadioShow.com. And remember to do all of your Amazon shopping through the Amazon banners on FatGuyRadioShow.com. Amazon, the number one way we powered this show. Whoa, whoa. And yes, shout out to Grandpa Barn, who Ooh. is most likely streaming the show on his new Echo Show 5 from Amazon. Shout out to the barn. Hey, barn door. And the farms. <laughs> so there's a reason why, and I don't think I've ever show, uh, shared this, why no one's ever shared those opening credits. Because the last people, and I'm talking about, and, and, and for those of you that are going to run and tell that to Doug, our, our official announcer, he's not being replaced. He's just sharing the spotlight. Mm. Okay? The kids are not replacing him. But if you come at me the wrong way, Doug, you'll ask me out. Um, you didn't have to pay him either. Uh, yeah, I did. Oh. What, in gummy bears? Uh, patience and animal crackers. There Here's you go. the thing. Um, but Lots no one has, juice. no one, yeah, no, the apple juice was extra. Oh. They didn't do that good. Oh. No, I'm kidding. They did amazing. <laughs> and I know they're listening right now. Um, I'm going to turn it off, boys. It's adult time. <laughs> so there's a reason why there's never been anybody that shared the opening. What did you, how did you classify it, DJ? The opening um, credits. The opening credits. Someone's ever shared the opening credits because the last people that have been mentioned mm -hmm. that we have recorded with Doug and with any other incarnation of the openings, mm -hmm. none of those people are here anymore. Mm -hmm. So I have for a long time set on ever changing those opening credits because it's that superstition. Oh, okay. So now that both of your names are in here, mm -hmm. I'm letting the record show. If y'all go, this shit's over. Sorry, I cussed. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the indicative of the day that I'm having today. Refresh I, it. Make it a clean cut. It's just, it, it's just, it's just, 
it's, there's no more rebuilding. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just over, and I'm sorry. Do you I, need a hug? I don't need a hug. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with me today, but I'm just, I'm like, I can't say like I'm in a bad mood. Mm-hmm. I mean, hell, I just cussed on my show, and I have not done that as a slip up. Diaper? <laughs> no, I'm not wearing a diaper. You can kiss my ass, but that God. diaper. Um, <laughs> I haven't had a slip up like that in, in God knows how long. I'm the one that's professional. But anyway, but the today just uh, today just was weird. And I think it started mm-hmm. last night. Mm-hmm. I mowed my lawn by myself, which At I normally night? do. Oh, well, I waited till like dusk. Oh, okay. Like I was literally watching the, the sun disappear behind the horizon to the point where my front yard was shaded. Isn't dusk the morning? Or is that dawn? That's dawn. That's dawn. What's the, like, From okay. dusk to dawn? Yeah. That's talking about the long night, bro. Get on your Shakespeare. Get on your Shakespeare. I see you've already beat me to it. He's not on his Shakespeare <laughs> because Tupac didn't write any of yeah, it. I know. So I waited till about 6.31 uh-huh. last night to do my yard. And here's the thing. I did my yard, and I didn't have one of those dusk masks, mm. so I had to use a... Is that a night mask? A, t-shirt. A, a, no, I didn't use a t-shirt. I'm not that ghetto. I used a bandana. Oh. I'm well, not that ghetto. I used a bandana. So, I, yeah, so I literally looked like I was robbing the house I was <laughs> yeah. in front of while I was doing the yard, but I did it, and, 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 and honestly, pull the curtain back. My house from the front, my curve appeal looks like my house is abandoned because in the summer, I completely let the front yard go. Yeah, yeah. it's Arizona. You got to. All of my neighbors, we have that we have that little oath and that little creed that during the summer, it's too damn hot. Mm-hmm. We just don't do it. You have yeah. an HOA? No. Oh, yeah. Forget your lawn. I do not have a HOA. Sidebar, um, the bandana look, that's actually what they were made for. Were they really? Yeah. To cover your nose and mouth? Yeah, because cowboys used to wear them all the time. They're riding horses. They didn't want to get all that in their in their face and everything. Uh, and then they would rob people with it on. Uh, not even just robbing people. Just it was. It's the same thing. Motorcycles use them now to help block out stuff when they have those open faced uh, helmets. Okay. Okay. It's like, it's, it's, so the cowboys wore them when they were riding their horses t- to the old town road. Yeah. Right? To get some paninis from the. I see what he did there. Yeah, they're gonna take their horse. The old town, town road. road. They're gonna ride till they till can't they no more. Can't no is that more. Tupac? No, but it sounds like so that he would say. He is not gonna go against Lil Nas X. This man loves Lil Nas X. It's a little, creepy. A little bit too much. It's like a Michael Jackson, Macaulay Culkin creepy. And I'm okay with that. The dude is what? <laughs> He's 19. Is he really? He's young. He's yeah. only. I thought he was like at least 22. No, no. he's young. Huh? That's legal. That's illegal. <laughs> hey, Here's the thing. Before you get too much deeper in your story, yes. is it a push mower or a riding mower? It is a push mower. My front I just yard... want to imagine you getting physical activity. Now, push mower, is it one of those, like, you need gasoline full string motors, or is it one of those push mowers that has the rotating rotary mm. blades that you're just pushing in? Yeah. No, it's not, it's not one of those. It is an electric um, mower that, believe it or not, Ten and a half years ago when I bought my house was given to me by one of my neighbors. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. So it's like, and I think that when I looked it up to replace the blade in it at one point, Mm -hmm. I think the mower originally cost like maybe a couple of dollars over a hundred bucks. So it's not, and it's, it's, it's got a plastic body. It's, and it's falling apart, but it mows the grass. My yard is not that big. Yeah. The front is, is, is small. The backyard. Now I might need a, a, a riding mower for that, but for the, for the most part, the front, no problem. I could knock out my front yard mowing it in like under 25 minutes. Oh, mm-hmm. nice. But that's when everything's dead like it is now. So I was literally mowing dead grass. Yeah, weeds. Dead grass and cat poop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's the best. So I don't know if that was something that affected me where I woke up this morning and I felt weird. Not phys- I felt weird physically for a minute. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, of course, DA put that damn fear in my mind that I'm thinking to myself, oh, crap, now I'm about to die from the e-cig thing. Mm-hmm. You know, so, so of course, while I was stressing out about dying from the e-cig thing, I was using my e-cig. Mm. Yeah. Compound. We're all going to die one day. Yeah. But I, I don't know what it is, but I don't know. I just today I'm just like mentally not, for lack of a better word, stable. 
It's weird. I was in my kitchen. I know it's it's crazy. <laughs> All right, Adam Vinatieri <laughs> battling was, his demons. I was in my kitchen earlier today, literally pacing around my island, mm. and I didn't know why. Then I went up up my stairs. I completely forgot why I went up there. I was at home working all day today. I couldn't focus for nothing. You got the old timers. Like, you rich people complain so easily. You're talking about you have your own island, and you can pace around your own island, and, and you don't know why you're bothered. Like, you my, own an island. My time is priceless, man. My time is priceless. I don't have time to be moping around and giddy, g- galloping around an island and wasting time. And then I just got confused trying to figure out, what the hell did, was I in here for? I wasn't hungry. I wasn't thirsty. There wasn't nothing cooking. There was not There was nothing going on in the kitchen, yet my fat ass was just in there walking around it for no mother effing reason. You must be off if you wasn't hungry. Yeah, those are the, those are the uh, beginning stages of onset uh, dementia. I, I don't know. I haven't been able to. You, I got, would, the, you got the old timers, I'm dude, telling you. right now, I would not be, I would not be afraid of that. I would not be afraid of that. And uh, for those of you that are streaming the show on YouTube, DT just froze up. I apologize, but that's just the way that it happens. But here's the thing. Switch over to... Uh, <laughs> he walked up like Prince. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. but uh, So we won't be able to see DT for the remainder of the show. Um, that's a good shot right but there. It is just... It's just weird that I've been, don't distract me because nobody can see you now. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm already having a hell of a day. Don't make me turn the, this firestorm onto you because you know I'm always, you know I'm an Aries. <laughs> Look at that shot though. I'm always an Aries that I'm, I'm always looking for something. And don't freeze in your shot either, little D, because then it makes me think the whole, you know what? You guys, today is not the day. <laughs> it ain't. I'm not there today. Me neither. I'm not. I'm not there today, Yago Key. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I know you're not doing yeah, anything. Literally. But now Doug and Little D are frozen in their shots to make me think that the whole. I will take it all down, <laughs> Doug. If you don't start moving, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> well, I know his oh, shots his not froze. frozen. No, that you, is frozen. No, it's not. You know why? <laughs> well, I'm just that good. The cotton ball wind chime was still moving behind I'm you. I'm just so that good. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, people have contacted me to play cadavers in their movies because they're like, dude. I, we think you're dead. I'm like, I'm just asleep. No, no, no. They don't say they think you're dead. They uh, wish you were dead. Here's the thing. Uh, I don't know what's what's my mental block today. I just don't know. I don't get it. I don't know what's going on. I don't. I don't. I, you got writer's block? Honestly, no, I don't have writer's block. I just don't care. I mean, and number one, number one. Uh. Okay. Okay. And now D, D, T, with DT shot being frozen, um, one thing that really drives me, that has really pushed me over the edge today is mm-hmm. social media. Okay. Mm. Um, Which part? Because a lot of us pushed me over there today, too. All of it. What? And Lil D, you don't really have an argument because your ass is on just one out of the 18,000 social medias that are out here. And you're I'm on the t- worst one. And yeah. I'm, hardly yeah. on it. I'm hardly on it. I yeah, probably, Facebook sucks. I'm talking worse. about the social media for the show. Boys, oh. gentlemen, I don't mean to have a business meeting on the air, mm-hmm. but I'm out. I'm done. I can't do it anymore. Mm-hmm. Who wants to take it over? I'm done. Let me tell you why. I honestly, to God, feel that I have blackballed on social media. Huh. I don't know how. I don't know what I've done. All I've tried to do was make a name for myself, make a name for this show on social media, and it got nothing. I was the one. You go to our Instagram page right now. I was the one that posted up on our uh, on our stories yeah. a post that was sitting out there for six hours that got goose egg. Mm. No likes, no nothing, didn't go anywhere, didn't reach nobody, didn't nothing, went nowhere, and I put down at the bottom, I put, uh, wow, sad, AF. I mm. think I saw that post. I think I liked that post. You did not like that post because I just checked it before the show started, and it was still sitting at goo. Now, don't go and like it right now, now because I'm going to make a point. Which site was this on? This was on Instagram. You're oh, not I, on I Instagram. Just, I just want to see it. It's, it was zero before mm. the show started. So this is what I want us to do. Lil D, this, is, this doesn't include you because you don't have Instagram. I want to do a social media experiment right here on the show. Ooh, I like and I meant to do this at the top of the show, but we just got in on Tupac and it was funnier. Tupac is a living legend. Yes, it is. So while uh, yes, it is. myself. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. DA and D Tay. I would like all of us have access to Fat Guy Radio Show's Instagram. Yes. Mm -hmm. I would like us all to take our phones out right now and take a selfie, and we're all going to post these on Instagram right now. And at the end of the show, DT, do not let me forget, 
at the end of the show, mm -hmm. we're not going to look and see which one of our pitchers got the most likes. Mm -hmm. We're going to look at which one of our pitchers got the least likes. And this is going to either prove or debunk my proof that the facial recognition software that Instagram and Facebook works by is canceling anything I post or anything I'm involved in out. That don't seem right. I'm telling you, that's honest to God the way For I one, they have, feel. They have facial recognition software that... Yes, how do you think when you post a picture of somebody else on Facebook, it says, hey, do you want to tag that person? Oh, I never thought about it. Because it's facial yeah, recognition, facial recognition software. It, it automatically puts some more. So are we all posting our pictures to the fat guy? We're all going to post our picture. We're going to take a selfie right now. We're going to post it on the Instagram, and we're only going to use two hashtags, okay? Two hashtags. Hashtag fat guy radio show and hashtag social experiment. Lil D, I'm glad you're not doing this because you don't know how to spell experiment. <laughs> Maybe I should write something about these he hashtags. How, how do you spell social? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? All right, so we're all, nobody can see. Hold on, let me get my camera ready. Let me get my angle. All right, Lil D, go ahead. Lil D, I ain't, you I ain't got, got no social. I, I oh, yeah, that's great. I'm going to go ahead and also frame up the missing sound pad that's in my shot. All right, so I got my picture. All right, Doug, you got your picture? I got my I got my picture. You got yours? His is going to get the most <laughs> likes. He's a freaking pirate. <laughs> I thought it was Prince. <laughs> That's <laughs> fine, because it's just going to prove the fact that mine won't. He got five already? Or is that, is that what you said? No. Hey, can, I, can I put a, um, what do you call it, a filter on it? Yeah, you can put a filter on it. All right, so the only things we're putting on there are the two hashtags? We're going to put the, t yeah, just put the two hashtag, or you can put like a, a smiley emoji. You know you can buy, you can buy your likes now, right? Yeah, yeah, that's not <laughs> worth it. And oh, by the way, uh, just a few weeks ago, we spent probably a couple of hundred dollars on Instagram ads, mm -hmm. which worked, but it doesn't work if the algorithm doesn't allow the people that are following us to see us. Oh, yeah. So it, 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 it's just, a, it's all, okay, so before. What's, what's the hashtags? Before you post it, um, we're going to post it in, we're going to post it all a minute apart. Let me ask you this. What now, does the hashtag do? Now, are we, are we, Hell if I are know. we push, posting it just to our uh, Fat Guy page or are you? Are you just the it? Fat Guy radio show. Yeah, I don't that. want our personal pages to, okay. to quantify it. So two questions or one question, one statement. What's the hashtags? Hashtag Fat Guy radio show. Uh-huh. Hashtag social experiment. So, to answer your question, Lil D, a hashtag links people. So, what what TV show do you like to watch? You don't watch TV. Mm. You don't watch no TV. No, I do, but oh, power. Okay, oh. so you would go hashtag fitness. Yeah, so okay. hashtag fitness, you will see everybody that's in the fitness community. So you can see people working out and stuff. Oh, when you hashtag, oh, so yep. okay. Yeah, so if you if you post a picture of yourself on Facebook and you're like hashtag DJ, then that's putting your photo to all the DJing communities. Oh. It helps with the reach. So so check this. So so why are we doing that? Hashtag it like the radio We do. We, do. we hashtag oh, the reason. hell out of everything, Oh, so D. that's why you think that you come on. We, listen, listen. I have, I've studied this, and I know that I'm bitching about a free service, and I don't care because your ass is at home bitch about it too. D, Lil D, we have done extensive research. On what's, what's to get you exposed on what's to get you in the right trends and what's to get you in the right flows and all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. None of that works. I can, that's why I can only equate that it's me. I think you're just too down on yourself. No, I'm not. I I'm think thinking, you're really down okay. on yourself. No, I'm not. Because so who's, post, who's posting first? Because you said you want to do let, a minute let, apart. Let him to go first. Let uh, Corey well, go first. Well, no, because if Corey goes first, I feel like Corey should go last because the last one's going to be the one that's being shown. So I feel like Corey should be the last one because we're just trying to see – if it's him being blackballed. So by each of us posting a minute after each other, one of us should go first, then mm. the next one, and then Corey should be the last one. So his is the one that shows up the f like the most recent. All right, so post. Okay. All right, Friends. so detail will post first. Hey, hide the fencing off from him. I don't want nothing to happen to detail. Uh oh. Because what he's saying, because you know, like, Today, no, yeah, I no. want to see him break it down. No, because no. you, you know how, like, now that they got the the e cigs electrical things, mm -hmm. no, no, what's it called? e cigs right? e cigs Okay. Yes, so what he's pretty much saying is, like, the 17-year-olds who smoke it, mm -hmm. their lungs isn't as big as an adult mm -hmm. or as developed as an adult. Mm. Okay. So pretty much if DJ was to take medicine, he could collapse. Like, you know, the syrup and the purple and all that stuff? Mm -hmm. the, the, the coating, coating. Mm -hmm. So if he was to take that, 
is what he's saying. He could pass out because he's not. He's how old are you? Twelve. You see, yeah, go saying? ahead and post. Your your see, he gets me, but I was really implying that Prince died from fentanyl. So I was getting to the Prince part, but I was I was trying to go around it. <laughs> yeah, but he was in the elevator. Could have got there. Ass up, right? You could have got there a little bit more, a little faster, <laughs> because your brother is short on patience tonight. See, the way fentanyl <laughs> is made, you know, you got to break it down to the chemical of. Uh, Kill this guy now. Um, that's <laughs> <laughs> and I keep. I'm so programmed. I keep going to a shot. Forget that. And you said something frozen. before we transition. You said you just don't care. Not that I just don't care. The care has been beat out of me. People don't realize, and I know I'm bitching. And somebody tell me when it's my turn to post. I'm ready to go whenever it when whenever it's ready. Um, but it's not that I don't care. You can go. All right. It's not that I don't care. It's just that. The care has been whooped out of me. People don't realize how much work mm-hmm. goes into those clips that we see on Instagram, mm-hmm. the, the clips that you see on Instagram, the images that you see on Instagram. A lot of work goes into that. And I see people, and I've said this before, posting up pictures of dog doo-doo and it getting 25,000 likes on it. I don't know what social media wants. That's the reason why I'm out. One of you guys have got to take care of it or it's just going to die. I know we built this show on mm-hmm. social media. We trended on social media for within the first two or three years of our existence, and then it just stopped. I don't know what we did. I don't know what we said. I don't know who we pissed off, but <laughs> it's just over. <laughs> and what, what we said is what, what I said. As one, as one of the soundproof bearings falls off. That's just... <laughs> <laughs> AK-47 off the YouTube says, I'm sorry, Corey. I've been busy. I've been busy. That's just, busy. Busy. that's just effing indicative of, of my day. <laughs> it just now, goes a show. Now the studio's falling apart. I mean, Did that literally just fall right now? It literally just fell as you were on, on, on your spiel. The camera caught it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, DA. It's still... But here's the thing. There's a bright side to everything. You can kiss my bright side of life today. I'm not there with you today, Doug, and I'm not going with you today. You know, an old man once told me... Shut the hell up. Any, well, that's my Instagram name. Um, shut up, Doug Dan. Follow me. I'll probably get more likes. Um, <laughs> he said, any day above ground is a good day. And you know what? And he was very true. Was it Tupac? <laughs> yeah. Lil D or missed it. Tooth. Lil D would have went with it. Um, so by the end of the show... But it, okay, it's just... I honestly believe I'm blackballed. Mm-hmm. I, I honestly... Because everything that I post... Well, you got two of them. Yeah, yeah, everything everything that I post on social media, not just Instagram, not just Facebook, lump YouTube in there too. Mm-hmm. I'm just bitching about it all, and it, I don't know. I, I just I don't know what I did. Yeah, I don't know what people want. I don't know what people want on on. In, but you know what? I started to take a little bit of the blame off of me when I started to look at other Instagram because that's one thing that business Instagrams do is that we look at other business Instagrams, mm-hmm. and I was noticing that my girl CC Peniston. Her likes and views are down. Mm-hmm. CC Peniston, I know. I know Finally, I know. it has happened to me right in front of her lips. And now I just us. cannot hide it. Me and my wanker. All right, Lil D. Oh. That's my friend. That's my childhood friend. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag CC Peniston. Side note, my dad loves that song. He played that damn, the dance remix. Finally. <laughs> yes. I've heard that song so many times in my life. Do he know she live out here? I don't think he does. Oh, he, he don't. He would have been looking. <laughs> she's a she's a uh, personal family friend. Oh wow! Yeah, tell absolutely. her that she has a huge fan in Tucson, Arizona. She won't come on Faggot Radio Show. Number one, we've never invited her. Number two, because she doesn't have anything local that she's doing mm. that's on the grand scale. What mm-hmm. I should have did well, is make I should have reached out. I should have reached out to her before she went on BET's Girls at Rock because mm. she did the opening Girls at Rock and she yeah. went out and did it and she killed it and she murdered it and I should have had her on before that happened, but. I didn't. Why didn't you? And then you know what could because have happened? Because I'm not on the hammer. I'm Don't not. Hammer. I'm not on the B. I'm not on the BET media list. But, but you know, what? see, but that's what I'm saying though. You see, don't want to poke gotta, the bear tonight, no, little deal. You got to think big though. She could have. She could have. <laughs> no, <he, laughs> no pun intended. Yo, that's that fat guy radio show. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting like, hashtags. He's learning. He's evolving. He's evolving right but, before his eyes. It's like a caterpillar turning into a piece of crap. It's <laughs> like great. A it's beautiful. Like you're like not instead of a butterfly coming out of the cocoon, it's just a cocoon having a little dookie. Is what <laughs> it is when little D is coming out and learning. A still a warm butterfly. Still warm as hell. All right. But what I'm saying though is, yeah, God 
damn it. What are you saying? <laughs> what I'm saying, damn. What was I saying, damn? You don't was, even know. I wasn't oh, saying the no, damn thing. You could have had. You could have got in good with her before she did the BET experience, and then she could have had your whole banner flying in the back. What's DT looking at in his shot? I'm just saying. You know, that would work. Doug, stay focused. I can't have two brains running off of the, running off into the, the atmosphere. Stay with me, yeah, please. Just, okay. Just one tonight. There would have been no way, Doug mm-hmm. or Little D, yeah, Doug. that she. <laughs> no way. Okay. I'm, I don't even know why you came up with that idiotic. Uh, you stopped the whole show to say that. You gotta be ashamed of yourself. Don't pick the big guy or don't poke the big guy. Don't, okay. Don't. Yeah. Don't poke the bear. Little D. I'll pick him any day. That was a BET production uh-huh. there was nothing she would have ever been able to do to get fat guy radio show banner besides you know the stats you know the metric true colored people do not listen to talk radio uh, it's, it's changing doug you're one of the few oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right we're gonna take a quick break right here folks i'm gonna do my best to shake myself out of this but when we come back y'all better decide from this point forward September 19th, 2019, Corey Blaze quits social media. Mm. I'm out. Y'all got to take it over or it dies. Matter of fact, during the break, I'm going to delete it off my phone. Mm. Deleting the apps and everything. Twitter, I will keep around because that's how Lady K gets at me. Oh, look okay. hasty. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, you got to fight for, for your, your right hey, to party. Post up. All right, we'll be- party. <laughs> Post up. I see that. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is DJ Little D. You know, Corey's little annoying ass brother. Well, I'm not being annoyed by my brother. <laughs> annoyed by my brother. Damn it, man. Hey everybody, this is DJ Little D. You know, Corey's little annoying ass brother. I, don't, I know you got. Hey everybody, this is DJ Little D. Corey's little annoying ass brother. You. <laughs> hey everybody, this is. <laughs> Why does it get harder now? <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey, everybody, this is DJ Little D, Corey's little annoying-ass brother. While I'm going to be doing my, uh... So much coming at the same time. Hey, every little... Every little body. God damn. <laughs> hey, everybody. While I'm doing my movie... Re- Let's see what other people go through. Hey, everybody, DJ Little D... Hey, everybody, DJ Little D here, Corey... Little annoying brother. Hey, everybody. Also, you can check out the show. Oh, we would have here. We got Stitcher, I believe. We got Stitcher. Uh... Oh, damn. FatGuardRadioShow.com. Yeah, buddy. I can't do this. Bad Guy Radio Show. Sometimes we're funny, sometimes we suck. You're listening to Fat Guy Radio Show. All right, everybody, welcome back to Fat Guy Radio Show. This portion of the show is brought to you by our friends at Target. Target at FatGuyRadioShow.com slash Target. Target, trick or treat, little ones. This week, Target is featuring great deals such as 30% off Halloween costumes, men's denim, and ottomans start at just $59.99. Take advantage of these deals and more by shopping Target now at FatGuyRadioShow.com or through the Target banner on our website. Target, expect more, pay less. One last thing on this, um, because I know we're up on a hard break. One last thing on this. Social media thing is from Lady K. Lady K makes a very uh, valid point um, online. She says, I think people are sick of the haters and trolls and just don't get on social media as much anymore. Plus all of the scammers, ghosting and duplicating that go on of other people's profiles. It's a little exhausting. She might have a very valid point. That's so true, though. Yeah. And and the thing with Instagram, too, I've read that they're going to be hiding likes. Okay, that's fine. That's for like the. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's fine. That's fine. Uh-huh. But for a business, uh-huh. you do realize that internet radio, we sell that data. Mm-hmm. We send that data to people like Target. Whoa. We send that data to people like don't Amazon. Admit this. We, no, it's, it's not a secret. It's an industry standard. Yeah, but we, don't admit it. We lump that data into proving that we are worthy of someone spending money on us. Okay. 
It's a business thing. The, oh. what, what is the point of hiding likes? Well, the point of hiding likes is because the comparison is the thief of joy, meaning people are getting depressed when their posts aren't getting a lot of likes. So hashtag it's causing hashtag, <laughs> <laughs> so, it's like, so it's honestly causing them depression. Like, because people are so obsessive with, oh my God, this post didn't get any likes. What, what's wrong? Like hashtag Corey. Yeah, so they're thing. removing it for just you know for mental mental awareness. I agree. And here's the thing. Do you think that ties yeah. into uh, the suicide? For these kids? I think so. I think oh, it ties yeah. into it. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Social sure. media has been blamed for It's a, a rat race. Look, what, was, what was the video question? So you, you posted a video. It, it was the, um, it wasn't the duck hunt. It's after the roaches, where the roaches come from. So that one says it has three likes, and, um, but I liked it. It is not showing my like. On all the previous videos, it shows my like. So there could be an algorithm problem with Instagram that's not registering. I don't look at the I don't look at what displays on the front. I dig deeper down. It's the it's the insights that I look at. Okay. From a business standpoint, hiding the likes for individuals and 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 teenagers and tweens that are offing themselves because their picture of their feet while they're sitting in their dirty ass room didn't get thousand likes. Mm -hmm. I don't give a rat's ass about that. <laughs> what I care about is the fact that we as a rising and growing industry and product of Fat Guy Radio Show, we have a dependence on social media. Mm -hmm. Here's the funny thing about it. We spent a couple of hundred dollars on advertisement on social media a couple of weeks ago, and our likes exploded. And then they turned us down. Do you know the reason? You know why they turned us down? Because every day I've been getting emails from Instagram saying, hey, that post you just posted, more people will see it. If you just boost it for five more dollars. So high. they want to charge small enterprises like us mm -hmm. money yeah. to enable Instagram and Facebook to do what Instagram and Facebook was designed to do. It's a business thing. I understand everybody's out to make money, but I'm tired of it. Let's um I'm exhausted. You're not the only one that feels this way. I'm let, out. Let me read you're not the only yeah. one that's out. Let me read something uh, that came across. It's it's been huge today. YouTube changed <laughs> these nuts. <laughs> Shut I, yeah. up, little D. <laughs> YouTube changed its verification process, and creators are losing their badges. Have you read about this? I haven't, because you know how I feel about the tube of you. Here's the thing: I follow a lot of big YouTubers. They're quitting. They said, "I'm done. I'm not uploading to the site because YouTube is making it hard for them to get ad revenue." Now they're still going to be bringing in the same amount of likes, the same amount of views, but now that they lose their verification, they lose a bigger cut of what they could be getting. Because it's it's approved. It's that little verification thing is 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 proof and and it, it gives them that yeah. those sponsor dollars. I understand. It's a business thing. People with three million subscribers are losing them. Does YouTube care? No, no, they're going to be making more money. They don't care because they know that they're going to get the little tween that tried to off himself last week. He's going to come on and he's going to be the new Logan Paul 2.0. 2. Mm. That's what's going to happen. That's so, when we come in. You Bad Guy Radio, we start doing this. Little D, we've been out there for eight mother effing years, bro. We ain't broke through the ceiling yet. It don't just happen overnight. <laughs> I know. Eight, eight years. years, that's one long ass night. It is. The way Corey Trust for me. our for our radio <laughs> listeners now, now has listened on the podcast have Corey screen is Corey froze. He has a Death Star. Did I use that right? He has a Death Star look through Lil D. Yeah, why would you stare. poke at the bear? No, a Death Star. <laughs> like like a Star War. Hey D -Tay, <laughs> I think Lil D may be on to something. I'm, I'm we should be on YouTube. <gasps> <laughs> and maybe we should start a Twitter account. I know we're eight years late, but Little D and his infinite wisdom has opened up the minds uh -huh. of this world. From the mouth of babes. Never have I ever wanted to cut him from Genesis to Revelations right now. You don't deserve to share my oxygen right now, Little D. And this is coming from your big brother. And you know, from a snap of my fingers, I can end your entire existing DNA. But why do you want to do that, though? We need each other. Because you... 
You see what I'm saying? We're going to break. We got to go to break. I can't. Yay. Oh, on the other side of this, Instagram follower post of the week. That'll make it better. Speaking yeah. of Instagram. Oh, yeah. Right, look. Right. Yeah, speaking of And no one pointed out the fact that DT's camera stopped working, so he stopped working. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back on FatGuyRadioShow.com. To rock around It's me, Corey Blaze, and I'm using my radio DJ voice to welcome to the Fat Natty family, Spotify listeners. Yes, that's right. Fat Guy Radio Show is now available to stream on the largest growing streaming platform, Spotify. Get the Spotify app for all mobile devices and desktops. We are extremely happy to partner with Spotify and provide another easy and fun way for everyone to get Fat Guy Radio Show. Find us by searching Fat Guy Radio Show on Spotify or visit fatguyradioshow.com slash Spotify. Bad Guy Radio Show is now on Spotify. And now, traffic and weather with Skyline Skip. Take it away, Skip! This episode is brought to you by Playapod, the best cross-platform podcast app for iOS and Android. Just visit playapod.com and download it for free. It's our bonus show. What a wonderful way to get the free show each and every day. When you buy the bonus show, we can stay on the air. Less than coffee. No, it's not free. Buy the bonus show. See, when you support us by purchasing the bonus show at fatguyradioshow.com slash afterburn, you help keep the weekly shows free and the show can grow so you get more. Go by the bonus show. So go by the bonus show. Fatguyradioshow.com slash afterburn. Bad Guy Radio Show. Where did you get that muffin? Muffin button. I didn't install a muffin button. And where did I get this muffin? Baby shark. Just when you thought it was safe to turn the volume up again, Corey and the guys are back with more. We'll just play them all. That's what we'll do. <laughs> Hit all the buttons. Why not? Hey, I got an idea. You know what an idea? You know what? I got an idea too, little dude. Uh, what's that? You know what the idea is? Why don't you tell everybody what how they can get Afterburn? For three dollars a day. <laughs> Rich! <laughs> That'll solve all of our social media problems. We'll be able to pay Instagram and Facebook to do what Instagram and Facebook were designed. All right, Afterburn. I'm sorry, Afterburn. Tell them about Afterburn, little D. Afterburn is where you get all the nakedness, all the niceness, all the uneditedness. But for $3 a month, all you're going to get is audio. But for $8 a month, you get audio plus visual, which means you get to see DT moving his style. You get to see him in his Prince outfit. You get to see DA making it do what it do with his do-rag. Look like he's got out of prison two months ago. Hey. You get to see the fat guy looking at his brother like he's going to squeeze his life out of him. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. $8 a month. It's a very small life. $3 dollars listen. But you know what? Uh-huh. That money goes toward us marketing ourselves to a bigger network. Oh, yeah. That made no sense. Afterburn. FatGuyRadioShow.com forward slash Afterburn. Yes, there it is. Yeah, it was worth it. All you right, got it. Tried. That was he good. You got that. That was good. I liked it. I don't want to kill you as much. I still do, but not as much. Not as much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're going to get off of this because it's depressing the hell out of me. But you know what? We warned you. One more thing. Yeah. You won't know until you listen. Yep. yep. We either go make you laugh or depress, or depress the, the hell, hell out of you, but you won't know until, until you, you listen. listen. Until you listen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the segment that uh, has been squeeping, be squeeping, um, be sweeping. 
Yeah, he's been doing something. Uh, <laughs> All right, yeah. Hey, right, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit this button over here. I don't know what the hell's happening. Pictures in there need to be replaced. Like little Don X and one of them, wasn't it? I know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this week's Instagram follower post of the week comes from follower Nah, bruh, nah. at Shut Up Doug Damn, no. who posted a picture of him sitting at his gaming desk with what I can only assume is a ghetto attempt at a green screen in the background or some sort of beach towel. <laughs> Um, but that's not our focus, nor are his prayer-soaked knees, doo-doo rag, or lack of child safety insert in the wall outlet behind him. Prayer-soaked? No. Mm. But what's incredibly adorable is the little fella clearly enjoying some time with dad. That's my baby boy. Shut up, I'm reading it. <laughs> and Nabra describes the post as, he loves Pocoyo and my headphones and my desk and my chair, and my controller, and my mouse, and my keyboard, and my cup, and probably me. And he caps it off with a Negro Dunno emoji. <laughs> <laughs> that is our Instagram follower post of the week. Aw, thanks, Corey. I, 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 That's I my a, boy. I get at a like on Instagram. Did you? I'm not even on Instagram. I appreciate it. Not even on Instagram, <laughs> you gullible son of a but monkey. They, somebody got a lot of views. They got 63,078. Okay, little D, that's just a <laughs> God dang. Which one do y'all do with it like that? Which one do y'all do with it like that? Little D, they all say, say that. They all say that. You got to love his ignorance, y'all though. No, I pig. don't. You I got to. His, I, don't, I can't deal with his ignorance. Look, Jesus said to enter the kingdom of heaven, you have to have the mind of a child. Instagram follower post of the week. Doug, what was behind this picture? Is this an old picture or one that you took just a couple no, of days ago? No, that's one. I, I um, My wife took it. So Je- I was sitting there. And I was playing my video game, my yeah, Destiny 2. A little gaming desk there. And my son is, he's climbing on me and he's cute as hell. So he I'm like, adorable. So I'm like, let me turn off my game. What do you want, son? And he wanted to sit in the chair. Oh. And then he started um, banging on my keyboard, banging on my mouse. And I said, let me sit down and put it, I put a show on because he loves to touch my headphones. So I put the headphones on him. What show, show you, what show did you, what show did you, this show? Pocoyo. Oh. <laughs> he, wouldn't, he wouldn't watch this show. He says, Daddy, not funny. I'm like, son. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't worry, my kids say the exact same thing. So, so, yeah. so do my kids. Yeah. So, and that's Daddy what inspired the uh, the caption because he loves Pocoyo. Yeah. Put it on and he loved everything that he was freaking banging on. That headset that he's wearing, it's $250. Yeah, nobody cares about that. Let me hold oh. that. All right. You know, <laughs> <laughs> let me hold that. And that has been your Instagram follower post of the week. Hey, son. Shut up, Doug. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I don't know how to get out of this. We never have a way to get out of this. Fun note about my Instagram name while you're on me. Real quick. uh, One also thing for those of you that are looking at it on YouTube, we pulled that Instagram post like within an hour after it posted. So those 29 likes are not what it finished at. It's not like oh, 30. Yeah. It's not at 30. It's like almost 70 something likes. You know what's funny But though? it's a personal page so I can't argue that. And you know what's funny though? I don't even look. Honestly, I don't look. I hate posting, Corey. I hate social so media. So if you hate posting and mm-hmm. I just hate it all, mm-hmm. our social media, is this the death of our social media presence no, happening no, no. right now? 74 likes. Yeah. It could be just the death Damn, 74? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's that's a dump. <laughs> Damn, I'm famous. Yeah, that's a dump. <laughs> I'm famous. Hey, wait, hold on, wait. You, I don't like it. I don't like my likes, but wait, you just said 74? 74. Hey, we're talking about rates after the show. Actually, let's end now. My rates just went up. I Your believe. Is, is, <laughs> oh, who's going to take over social media then if I'm out? I'm out. I'm out. I don't care. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I I'm had, not doing it anymore. I had a bright idea. No, though. you uh-huh. didn't. No, you Let's didn't. Hear you, you had a bright idea, <laughs> little dude. You hear. know what? Save it for later. You might need it. But it, but it, it, it coincides with what we talking about. Nothing you have ever said out of your <laughs> mouth coincides with anything, anywhere, at any time, or any place. Dang, you just said coincide. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs>
He wrote. He but saw that he, on the way in. <laughs> on a he said that, but then he said, "What we talkings about?" Yeah, what we talking <laughs> about? I, I, I'm getting there. Okay, I'm getting Who there. Who learned you to read? Who <laughs> taught you octagon? <laughs> <laughs> little D, what was you, Little D? What was your idea? Watch this. Y'all heard of Breakfast Club, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, that's that good movie, right? Yeah. So check. Don't so check it out. You. you know how they. Call yeah, in about me. Don Tupac got Dude. hits. Don't, 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 don't you. Hey, do, do, do. Didn't you have a thought? I did, but he took me off. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I do. Oh, but anyway, back to the uh, task at hand. <laughs> this show is really Kevin Harding right now. <laughs> That's what happened. You started going in on Kevin Hart, and all this happened. Oh. That's that's literally what it is. You don't go in on the Illuminati. His his little calf. Uh, uh, what, what do they call him? You know how to be be as I got heard the beehive. Uh huh. So what do they call his his little his the nigglets the nigglets the little nigglets the nigglets probably attacked at you your know, social media. That's what happened. Sorry, you had a thought probably. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> going with your thought, little thing. Yeah, oh, you did. So they they go in there, mm -hmm. and you know how they'll shout out something of theirs. Mm -hmm. We should wake up early as hell when they do that and and broadcast our show because people go in there and broadcast their podcast. Like, hey, I love to give a shout out to my uh my baby mama. Follow her on Instagram at underscore left nipple dot com. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now let me but, let me let me break down what just happened. <laughs> but they're syndicated on ninety oh, markets. Hold on a minute, little dude. Let me break down what you just did because you're really good at doing this. And you have I done take this. Great pride in my work. You should. And you have <laughs> done this several times over throughout the entire tenure of Fat Guy Radio Show. What's that? You come up with a great idea okay. that you have no intention on executing. Mm. So hey, it you falls do. on to me. Mm. And you know what? Huh. I ain't doing it. I do it. I got to get up early enough, though. Well, then you do it. I, I, you do whatever you want to do to say whatever you want to say about this show on any type of TV broadcast. I'm not doing it. I'm tired of people coming up with, you know, I had an app developer one time tell me this. I sat mm -hmm. down with him and we were having lunch and we were just talking. And he says, Corey, What'd you eat? I get so many people that come at me and they say, there should be an app about this. There should be an app about that. There should be an app for this. There should be an app for that. But no one wants to sit down and do the hard work on actually developing it, releasing it, controlling it, copywriting it building the infrastructure, making this server ready, and getting it approved by all of the Apple people and Google people. No one wants to do that. Everybody just comes up with a great idea on what should be the great idea, but no one wants to do the effing footwork. I feel that every time my little brother comes up with an idea. But he admitted it was a good idea, though. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Glad you got that. So That's all I saw. you there's a chance. chance. So you're saying there's a chance. But the thing is, that app developer, if he hears a good idea and nobody wants to foot it, he can foot it and be rich. True. So there's that, too. There's always two sides to the octagon. But no one, but more so than not. So, fellas. It's people having ideas mm -hmm. that don't want to do the footwork to bring the idea to fruition. So, fellas, check it out. Mm-hmm. I'm a DJ, right? No. I got a celebrity D uh, golf tournament coming up. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can come in to advertise. It's going to be a celebrity golf tournament. You never know who you can screw. Again. Pull your pants down. Again. Take back. I Great can't do it. idea that I have to execute. Because you don't want good at pulling down the pants and making it happen. So you're going to, you know. It's the whole thing of who you got to sleep we, with. Down the path. I don't know. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move past it, D.A. I'm going to try to get past it. Meet me in my office with there my pants down. There ain't nothing wrong with him taking his little scrawny black ass downstairs to uh -huh. the little prize closet uh -huh. or the media closet or whatever the, the hell you want to call it and grabbing a boatload of unused Fat Guy Radio Show bumper stickers, unused Fat Guy Radio Show wristbands, unused tags and totes and flyers, and taking them to the damn celebrity golf tournament himself. There is. Ain't nothing wrong with him maybe even wearing the Fat Guy Radio Show old-ass shirt during the golf tournament. But he expects me, <laughs> with all the other stuff I got going on, to take the time out to come down there and execute his idea. Well, I can't be the brazen operation all the time. Oh. You know what I'm saying? But what he did say. You got a co-host sitting over there. You got an executive you producer got a sitting over there. Here. You got they a co-host here. They know how to represent the show. 
It did get 74 likes. Oh, my God <laughs> damn it. I'm going home. You, go I'm not, home. you know what? The rest of the show is going to be the Doug, D, Tay, and Lil D show. This is, I'm, I can't do this. But you today. know what sucks about that? I can't do this. The today. likes may go up. The likes will go up because my <laughs> face will be gone. <laughs> That's it. Too soon. You better. You know what, little D? Be careful because there's one in the chamber. Let's take a quick break right here, and we'll come back with the Doug, Little D, and D Tay hour right here on Fat Guy Radio Show. Yeah, we'll be buddy. right back on Fat Guy Radio Show. I'm going home. <laughs> Everybody. You might not know who I am, but my uncle is the star of this show, and my daddy is on the show. So yes, I'm talking about Uncle Corey and my daddy, DJ Little D. Now I'm doing this commercial to tell you to tell all your friends to listen to the show and buy the bonus show, Afterbird. Now I'm only 10 years old, so I can't buy the bonus show, but you are old enough to buy the bonus show, so why don't you just buy it? Don't all big people have all the money? It just makes sense. So go to fatguyradioshow.com slash afterbird and subscribe. I promise you, if you do, I'll tape another commercial. Because who doesn't like a cute little girl's voice on the radio? And sorry my sister was making all that noise. We are sorry. Oh, so sorry. Never do it again. This is Fat Guy Radio Show with Corey Blaze on FatGuyRadioShow.com. All right, I couldn't leave because Lil D took my keys. <laughs> Can't go. Thank Lil D. We need you here to uh, operate this operation. Guess I got to finish the show, but you know what? What's really exciting? Home Depot, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Home Depot. Oh, yeah. Let me fake it so we can cut this up and send it to him. <laughs> fake it. This portion of the show, I just spent <laughs> You sure did. That's what you got to do when you fake it. Uh, yeah. I thought it was shoot. <laughs> <laughs> shake it. Oh, sh- shake it. Wait, wait, wait. Not while the logo's off. Okay. All right. Jesus. You got that? Yeah, I just got it. Let's try this one more time. Take two. <laughs> Hey, Home Depot. Still the same spot. Make it clean. Here we go. All right. This portion of the show is brought to you by Home Depot at fatguyradioshow.com slash Home Depot. Today is the day for doing. Save up to 50% off select solar panels, electrical tools, supplies, and more. Shop today's special through the Home Depot banner on fatguyradioshow.com. More saving, more doing at the Home Depot and we thank you for doing so. All right, welcome back to the show. I tried to get out, but Lil D's got my keys. If Ooh. you if you left, it would just be guy radio show. Exactly. That's that's true. And I think that that's a, you know what that's a really good idea. Oh. Actually, that that name is catchy. Guy I, radio show. I think that this will be mm-hmm. my retirement plan Ooh. right now. Mm. I will retire effectively immediately at the end of this show, mm-hmm. and you guys can go on with guy radio. It won't be nothing. Uh, for D-Tay to Photoshop the word fat out of the logo, <laughs> and it'd be gone. And I'm telling y'all what I'm going to do. I'm going to be on the first U-Haul uh-huh. to the East Coast, and I'm living out the rest of my life on Lady K's ranch. That's what I'm going to do. Did you hear there about the go. hurricane that's about to hit I the East Coast? Hey, it, it'd, be, it, it'd be a way to go. I mean, we were just talking about sports staring at her. I think she probably agrees with that, though. She's probably (laughs) like, that will be very good, right? I'm pretty sure you're going to get a tweet about this in, like, (laughs) five seconds. That's a good idea, Corey. That's the best idea you should have always had. (laughs) (laughs) Fellas. Frozen guy. So. Let's go to the shot just for that. Just for for (laughs) S&Gs. So, I I have a a, a thought. (laughs) <laughs> I can't take him serious. I have a thought today. Yes. I had a thought today. My sister was talking about listening to podcasts and they're doing the set it off uh-huh. reboot. Mm. Now, my thought is have you guys noticed that a lot of these reboots of old movies that had an all male cast have now been changed to all female cast? Yeah, like the Ghostbusters. Like Ghostbusters. I think they, that's they, what started it. They redid the Ocean Eleven. <sighs> My favorite scene with Jen and Jack Me. Yeah. They, wait, they did <laughs> Ocean Jack Eleven me. with all women in it? They yeah. did. I think they call it like Ocean Seven. Or yeah, something with like that. Rihanna. Throwback Mountain. I wonder, if, I wonder if it was fishy. It, 
<laughs> I see what you did there. Oh, you back on it, Corey. So I came up with an idea. Yes, DJ? What if they redid, because they, they, my sister was talking about how they're going to do a Set It Off reboot. Have you? Are you familiar with the movie Set It Off? I, You know what? Believe it or not, Set It Off is one, believe it or not, Doug, mm-hmm. Set It Off is one of my favorite movies back when Queen, before Queen Latifah was fat and a lizard. Right, I'm sure right. she, she was, was a lesbian. A lesbian in the movie. In the she was a lesbian yeah. in the movie, but not lesbian in real life. How do you, How do you know? know? Not yet. We didn't know it. Was, it wasn't public. Oh, okay. And remember, she it's not was true a lesbian in the public. movie. She, and she is lesbian for real. She, was but she wasn't real at the time of the. So she was on her Oprah Winfrey. She was on her Oprah Winfrey. She was Oprah on her... Winfrey's a lesbian. Oh God, her and Gail. Come on. Now, what if they <laughs> re? What if they redid set it off mm-hmm. with an all guys cast? Then it would be Friday. No. <laughs> because, and uh, when I was talking to my sister about this, I had a, I let her know. You had a premonition. You're not going to change the storyline. Mm-hmm. So these four dudes mm-hmm. are having the same problems the women were having. So Gay dudes. You have the gay dude. <laughs> mm-hmm. you, got, you, you, got, you got the girl who's sleeping with cougars. So you got mm-hmm. the guy sleeping with cougars for money. Mm-hmm. So you That's got me. little D. The gay dude's me. obviously Wait a minute. wearing that outfit. Which one of the little Negro boys is going to leave a kid to drink some Clorox? That's I don't probably know. Me. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have the single mother with the kid who she can't pay the bills. So you got the single father with the kid who can't pay the bills. Oh, that's so, Corey. So is it going to be also? Or are they going to recast the guy uh, janitor owner as a woman janitor owner? Why not? Mm, Leslie Jones. <laughs> she, perfect. <laughs> that's a perfect. That's a perfect, cast. perfect for her. It, no, 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 no. We're we're, we're switching the sexes. <laughs> 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 oh shit! <laughs> why you why you drop? Why you got the camera shot, Doug? Doug, where you at? Where that's you at? that's jacked up, man. <laughs> that's funny though. That's, that's cool. funny though. That's a good joke. No, no, no that was good. I can't, that was good. I, yeah, I, I still can't see why. When I you mean. offend me. It's really funny. Yeah, it's great. Well, see, and, 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 that's, and that's why I like that they cast her in Ghostbusters because they, they couldn't have an all-female cast. No, they couldn't. They couldn't. You know what they I mean? Need, they, I'm glad they got the original guy to go back and re- <laughs> reprise the role. Exactly, and I'm sure if they redid Space Jam, I'm sure that they would probably use her to take some of her powers from... <laughs> And put I know. Her, well, Who would her powers I, go I, into? I love Patrick Ewing. <laughs> yeah. Her powers are going to LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. They're not the same person? Come on, well, man. Jesus Christ. One has a little limp. So, one, if you see... With LeBron? Yeah, you lost that one. Hey, you D. lost that one. I, I, did. Did. I, I did. did. I don't know where you were going. So, Lil D, here's a joke there, and you were just cruising along there. You know what I'm saying? But this time, instead of you flooring it and going off the cliff, uh, you just kind of just rolled the edge of the cliff right on down. Oh. Which yeah. is hard to do. Which is very – it takes talent. Yeah. Hey, I take it by And you know what? Beach. You do what you do when you do what you do. Oh, you, he, you did did he did what he did when he did. That's what I do. do. Yeah, so what was the point that you were making? Was that it? Yeah, I just, I just thought it'd be funny if we just did a, a parody, like and start reap. Because I, I'm like, we're in this society now where like everything has to be, I don't know. It's it's everything's more geared towards like sexism and everything, and like and dumb people and like combating it and whatnot. And I'm like, oh, I'm all for that. Mm-hmm. And so everything that's like was originally a male cast is now being ma- remade with female casts. Yeah. To put more women in uh like these mainstream roles, and I'm all for it. But also at the same time, like I want to see some movies get remade with some Hellcats. Like, what if we redid the Golden Girls? Mmm, mm. Golden Guys. <laughs> and, and and just a bunch of it's like a dude. You have Donald his, Trump, his old dad, and everything, and they just single men who were married and happily married, and the the wives passed away and whatnot. Because that's pretty much the premise of the old Golden Girls. Yeah. Uh, was if, who's gonna play a stale Getty? Regis Philbin. <laughs> There you go. Regis Philbin could step in for Estelle Getty, which was the, the mom. The, the mom. The old mom. You know what? We had the perfect cast for Guy Friends. The Ooh, black one with... Yeah. Um, Wait, I want to I wanna, I wanna cast this out. I want to cast this out. Uh, Golden Girls. Who would be the overtly sexual... Oh, I know who would play the one that was like always banging Blanche. all the dudes. Blanche. You know who would play? Ryan Seacrest. Mm. You can put Ryan Seacrest in as Blanche. Mm, okay. And then the big tall one. Uh, B. Arthur. B. Arthur's character. Who would we put in as B? Oh, 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 I know exactly who to put in as B. Arthur's character. Who? Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, there you go. Shaquille you O'Neal go. will be that. And, and, then, and then the, the, the like, dumb, Dizzy like. Ditsy one. What, what do, I got the played pri- by Betty White. 
Yeah, I got the perfect one Who? to play. To play this Who guy, be the male counterpart. This guy is is Dynamo. Mm. Leslie Jones. Leslie Jones. <laughs> I do it. Leslie Jones would fit in. Anytime you were switching the sex from female yeah. to male, Leslie Jones is a shoe in, a thirteen size shoe in. <laughs> I'm about this one. I have no parts. A Yo. 13 size <laughs> shoe in. There you go. I, oh my God. What if I was to bring her on the show? She'd like, eat us all. <laughs> alive. Yeah. Would you be Bro. scared, Corey, if I just brought her in? Yeah, on the I show? would be scared because I did not de- develop a show for five men. Here's the thing <laughs> five, five guy radio <laughs> show. show. Lady K, don't drop that one. Um, oh my God! That's a, I like. I, I kind of like recasting all female cast with men. Yeah, I think it would be really great. Speaking think, of Lady K, you know what? We should probably do that to this show. Did she get back to you? <laughs> yes, she did. I do it. Give she my said files no. She up. said no because no, she, she he got all set. Yeah, boy, she didn't yeah. say no. She will love to have him all. You know, no. I'm gonna tell you what she said. She True said, boy. She said, "Hell no, lady." No, I'm kidding. No, she did not she say that. She said, hell yeah. Lady Look, K wouldn't say that. She said, Lady pack K, it up. She said, I, I, she said, I already reserved the U-Haul. Here's the thing. She's going to run um, out you out there. How much time do we have left? Five minutes. Five minutes. All right. We're, we'll, 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 we'll table trailer talk for, for next week. Lil D had something. and something. No one's going to watch it anyway. No. Uh, that that <laughs> movie's horrible. Logan hey, Paul. I picked that. Go away. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Um, Lil D, the sales, the BS sales pitch, we all fall for. What the hell were you talking about? Do you remember? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay, so we only got five enough. minutes, and please, oh, one eighteen like D D T one eighteen one eighteen tonight, brother. You you see how um I'm, okay? I was on a radio show today. Was it this radio it show? That guy radio show dot com forward slash afterburn. Okay. <laughs> or you get all the nakedness. All right, we got Three. five minutes, you boob, and that includes a 60 second. Hey, Fat Guy rate. Radio paying me for this, okay? Wait, so, wait you can pay? I get, I get paid. All right, BS sales. Okay, so um, check it out. Thank you. This It hit me because I've heard this Did pitch hurt? before uh, a little bit. Shut after up. I done spelled my money, <laughs> my hard earned money. All right, BS sales. <laughs> <laughs> so, BS sales. So, I listened to the show, the guy was talking about. I don't remember what the hell of product he was he was selling, but he's like, but hurry up while supplies last. I've heard this pitch before. Say this water. Oh, this water right here is uh, from uh, New Zealand. Mm. And th- what this water does is Can it, it clean- be from Australia. It cleans it cleans all your insides out. Okay. Mm. Yeah. But- Australia. Everything tries to kill <laughs> okay. you down there. Yeah. But Plus, you got to act while supplies last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To so that's. Oh, oh, let's get it. No, go ahead. BSL, you all don't. BSL, BSL, sales. And BSLs and BSLs and BSLs and BSLs. And one, two, three, four. Plants and bugs and 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 plants. Hey, chop that up. Freeze. No, but the but um the guy says you da stupid mother. Oh, damn. DT gets it. <laughs> Freeze. And he points the DT camera. <laughs> yeah, I got it. At least Yo, BS good, sales, bro. Oh, but I've been he's hearing this a lot. Froze. So uh-huh. it's a tactic. Mm-hmm. By the way, anybody notice that DT has got completely naked during this show? Yeah, like, I, no one has said anything because he knows his camera is dead. That's why I got hot in here. His, t- <laughs> his tally light's not it's even getting on. getting hot in here. All right, D. So D. take off, yo. <laughs> BS sells. Act now before supplies last. That makes people say, "Hey, I need to go to the store and go get what they're talking about." Yeah, while supplies last. Yeah. So, dear God, make me a bird so I can fly far, far, far away from here. Yes. Dear God, make me a bird so I can fly far, far, far away from here. Is this Psalms 22? Yes. Verse three, where it says she climbed up the tree. And a little hamster, she grabbed it by the B-S-L's, toes. BSLs, bro. BSLs. BSLs. Speaking of BSLs, hey, they got some good stuff over there. I went over and checked out this uh, BSLs. You heard about BSLs? <laughs> that from hey, I know from you. They got some good stuff at BSLs. Look uh-huh. them up. BSLs.com. You will find all kinds of stuff over there. I'm talking about like, they got some black socks, right? 
they say to order black socks. Black socks liquidators. <laughs> BSLs. These black socks do more than just your normal socks. So you got like a gout. You more than your normal socks. <laughs> yeah. So you got gout. Uh-huh. <laughs> No, I really want to know. I got gout. Uh, these socks you put on, they uh, help with that. They like, they keep your feet like, uh, the blood circulating in such a way where, it, like, if your feet are hurting all day, uh-huh. it circulates the blood. How like do I get them? Feathers. How do I get them? BSLs. Uh huh. Die cub. When should I do it? You can do it tonight. Do, do it while supplies. Do, do it while supplies, supplies last. last. Oh, okay. <laughs> you do it while supplies last. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is what happens when this is what you guys are gonna get <laughs> with Guy Radio. Guy this Radio great, Show. Guy, guy Radio Show coming. Zion up, Williamson coming up next on on uh, B2B Radio Network. Brought to you by Backslack Liquidate. <laughs> 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 this is what it would be like if Lil D drove this show. I just gave down five minutes of what it would be like. Yeah, and I would just listen. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, that was going to suck. Trying to get him there. We tried. We pushed him as hard as we can. And I think what we did is that we over pushed him. We overcompensated for his stupidity. Like, I was even going over the head with it. He just wouldn't get there. He just wouldn't get He just didn't get it done. But you know See what? what he feels better. I do. Over there. It's like therapy to me. I got it off my shoulders. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my apologies to Justin Bieber. We just plum ran out of time. Uh, today's show was brought to you by the um, the good folks at Amazon. Yes, Amazon featuring the new Echo Show 5. Get yours today through the special Echo Show 5 banner on FatGuyRadioShow.com. And remember to do all of your Amazon shopping through the Amazon banners on our website as well. Make sure to drop us a letter, comment, or question anytime to fatguyradioshow at gmail.com or send a gift. We love surprises to box 401506, Phoenix, Arizona 85080. That is also the address where you can mail your resumes to host Fat Guy Radio Show. We're on Instagram, Twitter, <laughs> Facebook, and YouTube. Look us up. Sub- subscribe, follow, and share. Please subscribe, follow, and share because clearly no one else is. Tell everybody you know about the show and when they ask you what's it all about, simply reply. They'll make you laugh or depress the hell out of you, but you won't know until you listen. For Daniel Taylor. What's good? Doug the DA, Andrew. <laughs> Whatever. And DJ Little D. Yeah, buddy. I've been Corey Blaze signing off for the final time. <laughs> See you at the top, even though I'm still at the bottom where I started. <laughs> Sales pitch. Good night. Hello. Started from the bottom, now I'm here. Hey, hey. Started Before you go, bottom. did you know that Fat Guy Radio Show is on video? Check out our Vimeo page at vimeo.com slash Fat Guy Radio Show or click the Vimeo icon on fatguyradioshow.com. That's all for now. Ta-ta. Ta-ta.